Hey guys, welcome back to Fabulous. This is my sister Shiba here doing another video for you guys. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the fast squad. Okay, so this is my face today. So you guys already know my foundation routine. So yeah, if you guys are new and you guys don't know my foundation routine, so make sure you go watch it in my previous videos and I'm going to be linking down below in my description also. So today I'm going to be doing something really soft. Not only like soft, yani I'm gonna be adding shimmers and everything as you guys saw by the thumbnail. You guys already know what look I'm gonna do, so why do I have to say all this? Never mind. If you guys wanna watch this tutorial, make sure you watch till the end. And without further ado, let's get into the waiting. Yo. Uh. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so I'm gonna be using these two palettes, which is the Anastasia X Carly, and this one is the Huda Beauty Nude Obsession. I'm gonna go in with this dark shade and I'm gonna buff it out with this and this so you guys already know so I'm gonna be using this one so let me say it once again I'm gonna be using this as my main and this one to blend it out and this one as my crease so I'm gonna be using three shades for my crease and my main crease okay so you guys already know so I'm gonna be taking this camel brown shade and I'm gonna be using it as my transition. So I'm gonna blend this all over my transition crease shade and then I'm gonna like bring it downwards. I'm not gonna take it up, I'm gonna bring it down. I'm just gonna do the exact same going back and forth and blending it downwards. So guys, if you really want to know which brushes I use, I use the Morphe M441 brush for my transition crease for shade. So if you guys want to know which brush I'm using, I'm using the Morphe M441 brush, which is so good. Moving on for the second shade, I'm going to be using this shade, which is this light orangish brown. And I'm using the M433 brush from Morphe. And for this shade, what I'm doing, I'm applying this in my outer V and not going till my front so I'm just gonna be in this area and not bring it to the front so I'm just gonna go back and forth and just a little circular motion and then move back and forth and make sure you're not bringing it way too front so that's important and you should have control on your hands and I'm bringing this downwards also Now moving on for the second eye, I'm just going to do the exact same. So now for the main crease shade, I'm going to be using this dark brown shade. And you guys already know how pigmented this shade is. And I love it. So what I'm going to do for the shade, I'm going to be using this... As my previous shade, I'm going to be applying on my outer V and then move it to the crease but not taking it towards the front. I'm just going to keep it out here and then blend it. Okay, so let me stop over here and tell you guys if you see this kind of line and you guys can You guys can see like the brown is moving a lot. So take the previous shade brush and Just buff it out. Okay, you guys don't have to worry like oh my god What I have to do I have to clean up everything and all that No, you don't have to do that. You can just take the previous brush and Clean it up You guys already know how much I like this palette. I like the packaging. I like the packaging. I like the packaging. But what I'm going to do in this palette, I'm going to be taking this shade. And I'm going to be taking this pink. And I'm going to create a look. I don't know, but I'm going to create a look. Okay, so I'm going to be taking this shade, which is called Aura over here. Which is kind of like rose goldy. But I don't know. It kind of looks pink, but I don't know. I'm going to be applying at that shade in my inner lids I 
on my other side I'm just like tapping and this shade is going on so good with the brush I'm so happy you guys know shimmer shades don't work good in the brush but these are working pretty good so guys what's the twist in this you guys already see these eyes are looking good I feel like to keep it over here but no what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be taking this shade which is called a Jode over here and I'm gonna be applying that on the center of my lids you guys see this area yes right there it's kind of like a twist to the shade but yeah so I'm gonna take this and like you know blend it with the brown plus with the pink Okay, so there's nothing like you need a perfect cut crease or crease or anything like that. You guys can just move on how you like it and you can make this work. Okay, so this is how I made it work and it's looking pretty good. It is looking pretty good. Just like that, I'm gonna do it to my other side and... Just gonna do this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go with the brown shade which I used previous and I'm gonna just buff the shades together. What I mean by the previous shade is the brown shade. Okay, now for my eyeliner, what I really want to do is just do the eyeliner this way and just like smoke it out with the brown so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go bring my eyeliner and I'll be right back okay so here is my eyeliner I'm gonna be using the Elizabeth Helen eyeliner which is really cool and which is really known in Kuwait I don't know about the other countries and it is also known in India plus in Dubai as well so for this what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do eyeliner like a basic eyeliner taking the angled brush I'm gonna be going in with this brown shade and I'm just gonna do it on the top of my eyeliner so that it looks like it's fading out okay so this is what I want and this is what I got it's pretty good okay I'm now taking a buffing brush which I use my dark shade I'm just gonna blend it okay I'm just gonna do the exact same I hope it is the exact same because you guys know the eyeliner struggle is too much. So first, I'm just gonna do... And so guys, for mascara, I'm using the Tarte Light Camera Splash Mascara, which is like, too good. So this is the NYX Ultimate Brights, and I used this a lot in my past. So I'm gonna be using this shade, which is this dark purple right over here for uh, my for my lower lash line so that is bright enough what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna add a little more and uh, guys for my waterline I'm gonna be using this Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil which is in the shade I have no idea Okay, so this one is in shade whatever black 100 and this is way jet black because I really need my eyes to look way jet black. So for lashes, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Fox Mink Lashes in shade, not shade, in jade. Okay, so lashes are pretty good done. 
Okay, guys, so this is my look. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish all of my face off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so this is my whole final full face look. I'm not done yet. Okay, so moving on, I'm gonna be using this Ofra lipstick for my lips. And this is in the shade Cashmere. So finishing off the look with the iconic London Prep Set Glow. And you guys know how much I like this one. And look at look at look at this. This is so magical. It's gonna So guys, this is the whole final look. I hope you all enjoyed watching it. Yeah, I know it was kind of long, but yeah, it was worth making it long. It was worth showing you guys this look. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and join the FF squad. And also guys, don't forget to hit that notification bell on to get notified every single time I post a new video. Guys, do subscribe to my channel. Please do subscribe and support me throughout my journey. And do comment down below what you guys want to see next. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.